And I'm Kenzie. And today we're going to be doing a little get ready with us at home. We are clearly at our house and we have some lawnmowers going on. Our neighbors are really loud. So just bear with us while we do this video. But yeah, we're, we're just going to be testing out my new collection. And if you want to see how we got these looks, keep on watching. All right. So we already have our base and our brows on. So now we're just going to focus on all of my products in my collection. Yes. This is Kenzie's first time using my collection, by the way. Like... This I is, wanted to wait. This is like first impressions for real. She just found out that I named Shade after her as well. So this is going to be really fun. I know. No, I knew. But like, remember you saw it and you were just like, you did that? Like, well, because you told me and then I didn't think you're going to actually do it. So, okay. But well, I'm so excited. <laughs> so we're going to be using the imagination palette and mine looks really messy, but look at hers. Mine's hers brand new. <laughs> perfect. And Kenzie's like, I feel like you're a little scared to experiment with color. Like I experiment with color way more than she does. So I just don't wear a lot of makeup on a daily basis. So I don't really experiment with colors. So I'm going to like kind of walk her through a little look today because she's still <laughs> learning how to do makeup, but she's getting really good at it. So thank you. Yeah. Well, let's just prime. We're just going to quickly prime our eyes just really fast. Now we're gonna go in with the first shade. This shade is called Butterfly Fantasy. And it's just this like bone shade. And basically we're just gonna put it on our brow bone to like our crease. And I wanted to make sure I had like a not, like a very nude like bone shade to basically set the eye, highlight any areas, basically just like a matte version of, I guess, any like light shimmer. It's so pretty, the little sketch. Huh? All of the press shades are my drawing, so. I remember this one that you did on the front. You drew it in, uh, for my wall and you came in my room and you were like, I need this photo. It's for my Yeah, my I, palette. I drew that picture for you and I was like, oh my gosh, I have one that I love so much. And I, I remember I was trying to take it off your wall and, and you were like, like you're, you're not, not having that. It. Oh, because I loved it so much. It's so good. Thank you. We're using M3 and Latte and then we're mixing them together. Yep. And you can just go in with the same brush. Okay. We're just going to be putting that in our crease. crease. Yeah. You know why the shade's called M3? Why? You don't know? Oh! <laughs> Duh. My mom is named Melissa and her two daughters are Maddie McKenzie, obviously. <laughs> My mom got a tattoo that says like, cause we're the three M's. We always say we're M, oh. M and M. Wait, I'm kind of killing you. <laughs> I'm kind of killing you. <laughs> Yeah. Another tip is like start light and then build. And these shades nice are- that your shades can build. Cause yeah, they're very buildable because some days I like want a lot of coverage and then some days I just want yeah, like a light wash. So this, I like to use my finger for this. So okay. let's go in with the shade God Mom. Do you want to show that shade? Okay. <laughs> this one. <laughs> yeah. So that shade is named after Sia because she is my God Mom. She's like yours too. Like she's our God Mom. Yeah, so um, I named that shade after her. I feel like it would be used in an editorial look, like very glossy. And you just basically apply that with your finger, just like, are you yeah, gone yet? I was waiting to see what you were doing. This is so pretty. Oh wait, but I definitely put it in the... <laughs> no, that's right, that's right. I feel like using your finger, you get a, a really nice payoff and it's like a lot of coverage and stuff. But it's also like the warmth of your finger sometimes is just better than a brush because it can blend everything in more. So that's why I really love using my fingers. What's it like getting glam for music videos? Cause I've only been to one of them and that was like the Which first one? one. No, I was there for, um, you did it with Shia LaBeouf in the cage. Oh, Elastic Heart? Yes, I was there for that one for maybe five minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I left, but I didn't see you get glam. So I want to know what it's like. I feel that because I was so young when I first started, but also like for the Sia style and for the vibe it's very like natural so I don't actually wear that much makeup and I always end up having to put like dirt on me like to look more like like rough and yeah. stuff so I feel like it's definitely not that much makeup. Tanya is amazing and she's my makeup artist as most of you know and she's done Kenzie a few times like I feel like your makeup looks so oh, good. When Tanya. I, yeah, Kenzie I loves when Tanya does her makeup. Yeah she's so great. She's so so good and she helped me with this palette. This was her dream as well for me to always have a makeup collab and a collection. And so I wouldn't have as deep of a love for makeup if it wasn't for her. 
Now let's deepen it a little bit with the shade called ASAP. Using shade ASAP. This one. And it definitely has nothing to do with ASAP Rocky. That's such a lie. No, like, okay, you know how, like... Me and are both in love with ASAP Rocky. I was in love with him first. This isn't about him, okay? It is. Oh the God. shade is called ASAP. But, like, also... Can you I, tell me what you're doing? Oh, yeah, sorry. So I'm, like, deepening it up in the outer corner of the eye I to give more definition, so... And this shade also is not just a matte shade. There's a shimmer to it, so it's more cohesive with the Godmom shade that we put on. I don't know yeah. if I'm doing it right. Did I put more? Yeah, it's basically just to give a little bit more definition to the outer corner of the eye and kind of blending the two Godmom and ASAP shades together. Do you like the palette so far? Oh like, my gosh, it's so pretty. Thank you. Oh, Are wow, you just saying that because you're my- really bad. <laughs> I can also help you yeah, if you need you help. Yeah, can you do side for me? Oh. No, I'm not gonna no, do please it. please help. Why? Please help. Why, what'd you do? I don't know. What do you mean that doesn't look bad at- Oh. <laughs> you're usually so aggressive when you do my makeup. What's happening right now? I'm trying to show off for the camera. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, totally good. So me and Kenzie used to do competitions and stuff, so dance competitions and we had to wear like full face makeup like when we when were, we were like six, six. <laughs> like i i learned how to do my full face with eyelashes when i was six years old because she did I, my makeup i did her makeup so when i was like six and kenzie was literally four and then as we got older i literally did her makeup and because we'd have to get ready at like 6 a.m every morning kenzie would sleep in the morning when she'd be like little and i would do her makeup full lashes and everything while she was asleep and then she'd wake up and her eye would be like stuck My together. Eye would be stuck and I would be like. But she'd wake up with a full face, like red lips, wing liner, everything. But honestly, that would probably be like better for you because when I was, I would just fidget so oh much. Oh my God. And like, you had no and, patience. Yeah, so I feel like it's better to honestly, do, it do it when I was sleeping. I agree. Yeah, so I named a shade after Kenzie, which is called Kenny, because that's like another nickname of hers. It's this like burnt orange shade with a heart in it. I think that's the cutest nickname for you. Cause I tried to call you Ken when you were little and you hated that. You're like, I'm not a boy, I don't wanna be called Ken. So <laughs> we opted for Kenny. Okay, so this is where we go in with the pop of color. I'm gonna go in with She Insists and Kenzie's gonna go in with Mint. Oh, <gasps> wow. Okay, so what I'm suggesting to you, okay, you just go for it. Wait, what, what were you suggesting? Just start, like don't do like big wiping motions, kind of like keep it you know, like pack it under the eye. Oh, <laughs> pretty. Oh no. For everyone watching, you can stop at the top and just do the lid and maybe bring down the transition underneath the eye as well. Like you don't have to do the pop of color, but I'm trying to force Kenzie to play with more color because she looks so good with like bold looks. So that's why we're doing that. Mine's thick. Oh my gosh, you look good. Okay, you need to, you need to, can I help you a little? Yeah, you can help. I'm so proud of you though, because I thought I would be doing way more of this because I knew you. No, I wanted to try it. Look here. Uh, okay. What'd you do? Nothing. Oh. That looks really good. Oh, you know what you should do? Yeah. Okay, so see how I like brought mine out a little bit? No. Oh, whoa. I want to do that. Wait, how do I do that? Can you do it for me? No. This no. Okay, fine. <laughs> Stop. I'm sorry. Ooh, thank you. Okay, what are we doing now? I'm okay, now lastly, stuff. well, for the eye quickly, let's just go in with this. Or you can use your finger. No. I'm gonna go in with the shade Angel, and it's like a duochrome shade, so depending on the light you're in, it kind of, the hue is like a, see how when you turn it, it turns like different. That's so sick. So there's like a pink hue, a purple hue, and depending on the light, and depending on like, the way you turn. Whoa! I'm so That's happy you so like it. Cool. Someone who's not obsessed Someone, yeah. with makeup, when, sh when you're approving of this, it makes me really happy. Oh, so like, I don't know if you can see, but depending on the light, it switches its hue. So it's like pinky, purpley. And I've noticed that when I put it with the shade, like the blue shade called Five, it'll kind of pick up a blue tint as well. So. It's really cool, depending on the shade that it goes with, it kind of accents that in a way. My iron deficiency is just coming through. I know, we both have an iron deficiency. <laughs> I don't know why we're talking about that. Okay. Now we're just gonna quickly do Last our one. lashes and then we'll move on to the next parts of the collection. 
Okay, so now that we've finished our eyes, we're gonna move on to the cheeks and the lips. And I'm gonna show you quickly, well, we're both gonna show you um, the three different lip and cheek duos. So they do come together. So every cheek comes with a gloss that matches it. So the first one is from the Pink About It collection. This is the like cheek mousse in the shade Pinky Swear. And you can also put this on your lips as well. I feel like it works really well on fair skin, but can also really pop on a deep skin tone. Mm -hmm. These all work for every skin tone as well. So they're very universal. And then we have the matching gloss, which I'm obsessed with. <laughs> I know, I love this one. It's so pretty. Oh, and this is in the shade Libra Energy as well. Oh, that's cute. Cause I'm a Libra. So this is from the peach that pops. So this is called Peach Out and it's just like the more peachy tone coral. And this is my go-to and this is the one that sold out right away. So yeah. that's really cool. And then the matching lip gloss in the shade Peach Pucker. And all of my illustrations are on all of these as well, which is really cool. Like all the lips and stuff. Oh, so and then cute. do you want to get the last one? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Tell them the shade. Oh, okay. Sorry. This one <laughs> is called Very Good. Oh, this one's nice. Is this like <clears throat> darker? Yeah. Why am I showing that? Because I want you to. This one is called Butterfly Kiss. That's so cute. So like, there's a shade called Butterfly Fantasy in my eyeshadow palette. There's butterflies everywhere. There's like butterfly drawings. And that's because we have like a very special connection with butterflies. Mm -hmm. Our grandma who passed away, who we actually never met, but it feels like we yeah, were true. like knew her. We have this weird thing with her and when she passed away, she said, if you ever see a cardinal or a butterfly, it's her. So like, we always see butterflies everywhere. And it's like our- Did you know a butterfly landed on Boots' nose the other day? I was freaking out. We're gonna get butterfly tattoos together. Like we're very much into, like weird things have happened with butterflies. So, so weird. that's like our little thing. So that's why I wanted to put it through the whole collection. And then we also have the Dew Bomb in the shade I Do. And this is basically a highlighter stick, but without the actual highlight in a way. There's no sparkle, it's strictly just a balm. It works more for like a glossy look. So you can even wear this without makeup to look moisturized and look just really glowy and it, it, the sun and the light hits it very, very well. And it's more like a sheen, like it looks like a glow from within I rather like than I'm like a sparkle. That. I'm gonna be using that a lot. I'm gonna go in with Peach Out. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. You're gonna do the same one? Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm a little too scared to use this one because it's very dark. But the good thing with these as well is they're very buildable and I suggest you and anyone who's gonna be using these, use your finger because it's a mousse consistency and it has a satin finish and like the warmth of your fingers really blends it in. Feels like a foam. Yeah, so I do like that, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I just start to literally blend it in circles and see how nice that like blends in. Oh my gosh, see how nice that, it takes two seconds to blend in. Oh, it's so pretty. And it feels like skin, it's like very skin-like texture. It's not too heavy, because some creams can also be just a little much really sticky on your face, but this blends in and almost feels like you have nothing on. We had a little bit of powder on as well, and these actually work over a powder, as, so you don't have to be, because I know that there's always like a roll in makeup, well, that people go by that you can't put creams over powders. But honestly, with this product, you can totally do so. I put some on my nose too, because I do that. I do that as well. Because so it's a lip, lip and cheek, I'm putting it on my lips as well. Because I feel like this also just enhances like our natural lip color. Yeah, it's super natural. It's so pretty. So should we put some lip gloss on? Yeah. Should I use this? So all of these glosses are actually all clear, but they just have a slight tint to them. So um, we're gonna be going in with the peach pucker. I'm obsessed with this lip gloss because of the doe foot applicator. It's Remember so soft. I was putting on, I was like, I could put this on my lips for hours. It just feels so nice. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go in with I Do, the Dew Bomb. And there's two ways of applying it. Obviously you can use it on the stick or you could use your fingers, whatever you fancy. Mm. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, this is kind of the lazy way to do it. And I just put it everywhere because it's just so... What? <laughs> when you said everywhere, I just thought of you literally putting it all over your face and just looking like... No, I do, like literally. No, like everywhere. And it just gives such a nice, like radiant look it's very nice. without you looking like sparkly.
All right, guys, so these are our final looks. I'm so proud of you. You did such a Thank good job. You. How do you feel? Like, do you feel good about yeah, it? Yeah, I feel really good. I love all of your stuff. Thank, <laughs> you. Thank you for trying this with me. I had so much fun. Um, where can they find you on socials? Uh, well, my Instagram is Kenzie, so you can find me at that. And then my Instagram is Maddie Ziegler. And please be sure to check out this whole collection at morphe.com. And if you want to try any of these looks, like the looks we did, or just anything using the collection, don't forget to hashtag Morphe Babe, or you can hashtag Morphe X Maddie Ziegler so we can see all of your beautiful looks using the collection. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>